Hey, do you have one of them? That's the problem. That's why your pants are falling. <laughs>
and I told you that I was gone. But if you would have just asked me for some money, I would have gave you 20. But see, what happens in our lives, a lot of us are just like he is. And what we do is we yield into, and we give into the temptation because our flesh is much stronger than our spirit. And because we have a spirit of greed and not a spirit of discernment, then what happens is we fall into the traps of the enemy and we have people in our circle who allow us to get there. And what happens is all you, you didn't even have to struggle because my son was trying to stop you from going there. My, the spirit was trying to tell you that's not what you want. And if you were to ask me, I would have just freely gave you $20. <laughs> but now what's going to happen is you're going to leave here with $1 when you could have had 20 And you got to split the $1 with all your friends. Because here, listen, this is the reality. The reality is, the reason why a lot of you are spiritually broke is because you are too in love with Satan and not in love with God enough. And the reason why you stay in that place is because you don't understand that God is always giving you a way out. His way out was to simply just ask me for the money and I would have gave it to him. See, God wants to bless you. He wants to speak to you. He wants to grow you in a, in a mighty way. He wants to bless you. But he can never bless you because you won't ask it. You won't put yourself in a position to be blessed. You won't put yourself in a position to be disciple. And you sit around and you think that it's okay to walk away with one dollar. You got to split with five people. Seven. <laughs> When it's not okay, when God wants to bless you all by yourself. But the problem is, you're too in love. See, what he was looking at was how she looked on the outer. And see, what happens a lot of times is what looks good to us, it ain't always good. See, you see this little short dude from, from Atlanta who he don't know. He don't know nothing. He see a cute little sister with some nice boots on. <laughs> and he don't really, he doesn't realize that once he obtained her, it's death to his spirit. Aww. And a lot of you are sitting here and you're the walking dead because the things that you have allowed to enter into your space via Facebook, via text message, via, via Twitter, the things that are trending topics to you have killed your spirit and so you have no sense of discernment because you've fallen into temptation and now you're the walking dead. And the reason why this generation will never and it, can, it won't, it won't be on fire for God until you wake up and say, you know what, God, I'm going to deny my flesh. I'm going to pick up my cross and I'm going to follow you because even though she looks good, I realize she ain't good for me. Amen. Are you willing to put yourself in a position to be blessed by God? Because what happened is, yes, she cute. <laughs> But what if God said that what you see right here, you think is good, but if you trust me, I'll give you double for that. And see, a lot of you are sitting here trying to manipulate stuff yourself when God is trying to get you to say, just ask me and I'll give you what you need. It's almost like you're walking around here broke, busted, and disgusted, got a million dollars in a bank, but you won't put yourself in a position to just go to the bank and make a withdrawal. Tonight, God wants you to make a withdrawal.